So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to determine algebraically whether a function is even, odd, or neither. In this case, what you'll find is that the function is going to be even. Okay, remember, recall that we said we're going to make a substitution. It's the first thing. After we make our substitution, we're going to compare each term. So let's first let's make the substitution. We're going to substitute everywhere f of x with a negative x. This is equal to 2 times negative x to the 4 minus negative x squared. Okay? So when you do the arithmetic here, you'll find that f of negative x is equal to 2 times, well, x to the 4 power, negative x to the 4 power is just x to the 4 power minus negative x squared is just simply x squared. Okay? So now let's take, let's compare each term. 2x to the 4 power is equal to 2x to the 4 power. So these terms are the same. Take a look at our second term. Negative x squared is equal to negative x squared. So our terms are the same. So since our terms are the same, then the function is even. So therefore, f of x is equal to f of negative x, then our function is even. Our function is even. Again, we're trying to determine algebraically whether a function is even, odd, or neither. Here, remember what we do is we make a substitution. We substitute negative x everywhere we see an x. Okay. So f of negative x is equal to 3 times negative x cubed minus 5 times negative x. Okay? After we do the arithmetic here, you'll find that f of negative x is equal to 3 times negative x cubed is negative 3x cubed. And then negative 5 times a negative x, remember recall that negative times negative x is a positive. So that means this is plus 5x. Okay, now what do we do? We compare each term. 3x cubed is exact, exactly opposite of negative 3x cubed. We look at the second term. Negative 5x is exactly opposite of 5x. So therefore, this particular function is odd. This is an odd function. So to write this out, you would say that f of x is equal to negative f of negative x. f of x is equal to the exact opposite of negative x. Then the function is odd. Okay? We've just determined algebraically whether a function was even, odd, or neither. We substituted the terms. We made a comparison of each term. And when the comparison of each term is exactly opposite, then it is an odd function. What we're doing here is determine algebraically whether a function is even, odd, or neither. Okay, so first thing we want to do is make a substitution. f of negative x is equal to negative x cubed minus 1. Okay? And so when we look at this, it's simplified. There's no arithmetic needs to be done here. What we do is we want to make a comparison of the terms. Okay? So when we look at the first term, x cubed 
is exactly opposite of negative x cubed. Okay? And but when we look at the second term, they're the exact same. Negative 1 and negative 1. So since the terms, when you look at them individually, or opposite in one case and the same in the other case, then the answer is neither.